Raise your hand if you were ever in the Scouts. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. A lot of you. Yeah. All right, yeah. Wow. All right. I was too. I was a Boy Scout. And I can remember on one camp out, our Scoutmaster taught us how to make a fire by rubbing two sticks together. I never did get that down pat. But he told us something really important I'll never forget. He said, fire can be your best friend or your worst enemy, depending on how you choose to use it. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. And I also think that compound interest can work the exact same way. It can be your best friend or your worst enemy, depending on how you choose it. If you want to take away one thing I'm going to tell you today, take this away. Interest should be made, not paid. Yes. Remember that. I'm going to repeat it. Interest should be made, not paid. I'm going to give you a really great example. Let's say that you have a credit card that you owe $10,000 on, which sadly is not that out of the ordinary in America today, and you're paying a 25% interest on it. That's $2,500 a year that you're paying just in interest on that one credit card. Now, let's say that instead of choosing to have credit card debt, you instead took that interest you would be paying and put it into a mutual fund or any other kind of a good growth investment over the long term. Now, after 10 years, if you kept on paying on the credit card, you'd be paying a total of $25,000. But if you instead took that $2,500 per year for 10 years, after those 10 years, you'd have $45,000 at 11% interest, which is what the stock market has averaged for the past 90 years. So instead of Owing $25,000, you'd have $45,000. That's a $70,000 swing in your favor. Wow. But I'm going to take it one step farther. Let's say you do this for an additional 10 years. You'd be paying $50,000 total to the credit card company. But if you took that $2,500 a year and put it in a good investment, after 20 years, you would have $181,000. So instead of owing $50,000, you would have $181,000. That's a $231,000 swing in your favor. But did you notice something? Did you notice that even though the number, the amount of time that you invested only doubled from 10 years to 20 years, the amount of money that you have quadrupled, a little more than quadrupled actually, from $45,000 to $181,000. That's the beauty of compound interest, which we're going to talk about later. 